Hi, this is Chandeep from Goodly. Last week, I asked you a question uh, where I gave you some data and you had to make a chart out of that data. Um, I already found a chart in a local newspaper that was made from a similar kind of data, which was like this. Now, even before I kind of discuss the answer to the question and take you through what chart have I made and how have I made it, I want to first talk about that the chart that we already had, what was the problem with that chart. Now, if you take a look at this chart, this chart certainly has too much of data stocked into it. So not only it has the regions, but it also has the categories under each region. Now, because it has too much of data, um, each data point has to be colored differently. So there are color indicators of, of different categories or different topics here. So it kind of makes difficult to read the chart. So if you take a look that blue has got three shades. So there's a dark blue, there's a a light blue and there's a, it's a sky blue here so it's kind of making a, a lot more difficult to read the chart uh, let's just take an example so if i ask you a question celebrity arts media and sports where was that as a second largest value in all the regions take your shot i'm um, just take a minute or so well it certainly takes a lot of time to kind of figure that out so what you'd have to do is first you'd have to see that okay which color belongs to celebrity arts media and sports so that's a little greenish color here and then you start figuring it out so here this is 0 here's 24 39 uh, 27 47 31 and 23 and now you'd have to kind of remember the numbers to figure it out that where was it uh, at the second largest position right so kind of it takes more time to interpret this chart and uh, what if the topics increase tomorrow so let's say you have about six topics as of now what if they become seven or eight or nine and then the colors would increase and the chart would become even more difficult to read so i've already talked about that uh, why is this chart not the best charts around and what i'm going to do is now take you through the process of making a good chart and right from the scratch what did i do and then how did i make a chart right so let's just get right into it all right, so we have the data here in front of us, but even before we start working with the data and start creating the chart from the data, the first thing I always want you to do when you start making the chart is uh, think about your audience that who are you making the chart for first and what information are they seeking from the chart? So in this case, uh, you know, I'm making the chart for a regular reader. They could be asking questions like which region is the best in politics? So uh, let's just figure that out. So in politics, which is the best? I think Europe is the best. And uh, or they could be seeking information like which are the top three regions in Asia? I'm sorry, which are the top three topics in Asia? So in Asia, which are the top three topics? So you have economy, you have social and legal, and you have the celeb topics, the celebrities. Now, if you take a look at the way the questions are formed, so either you could be seeking information about the country uh, that which topic is the best in a particular country or a region or you could be seeking information about a particular topic that uh, let me just figure out that uh, this topic is the best in which region right so you could be more interested in topics or you could be more interested in the region wise performance of the topics so what I've done is I've created a quick dummy here uh, and let's just hop over to the dummy now the thing about the, the dummy is that you should always cre create a dummy of your chart on a piece of pen and paper. Why? Because uh, it's a lot easier to scrap the dummy uh, in case you've just done it on a paper and it's a lot more convenient as well. Uh, you know, just you know, drawing a sketch of the chart on a piece of paper rather than do doing it on Excel. All right. So let's just take a look at the dummy. The first thing that I am putting in the dummy is that do I want the chart uh, region wise or the topic wise I need to have a selection here so if I need to have the region wise the chart will be made region wise otherwise the chart is going to be made topic wise let's take a look at the first one let's say region wise now when I select region wise I have all the regions here so Africa Asia and all the regions here displayed here and this chart is specifically for politics right so you can see that Europe is the best in politics now when I change politics uh, let's say or let's say here this is politics so let's say when I change politics to let's say economy or science and health the chart will now be for science and health uh, it's not coming as of now because this is just a dummy and this is this drop down is not linked to the chart but it should ideally do it that way 
right? All right, now let's take a look at uh, the second piece of the chart, which is uh, information displayed by topics. So I could have all, I can have all the topics here on the horizontal axis and I could find out that which topics are performing best in Asia. So which topic is performing best in Asia? It's economy. Now le let me say that if I'm more interested in not just Asia, let's say if I'm interested in America, so I'll pick up North America here and I will then get to know that which regions are performing best in America. Now the reason why the chart is not changing is because this, the drop downs are not linked to the chart but otherwise it should have changed. I don't want to kind of display two charts, right? Uh, one for uh, regions and the other one for uh, topics. I just want to have one chart and depending upon which one I select, I should have the right chart and the drop down should also kind of change. So let's see if we can do that in Excel and uh, making this chart work. So now I'm just going to come back to the data and calc and start crunching the numbers. So I've already crunched a couple of numbers here. I'm just going to unhide the, the, the sheets here, the, the rows here. Uh, so these rows are written. This is all the working that I have done and the actual chart is right here. So I'm just going to go over to the chart and explain you that how have I made this chart. Okay, let's first take a look at the workings of the chart. So you can pick up topic wise or you could pick up region wise here and internet news websites and tweets for Latin America. So I can go in the drop down here and I can pick up any other region. Let's say I pick up Asia and this is now going to show me that in Asia, which are the best topics or I could just go and pick up any other region. Let's say Pacific. Uh, now let me just change the selection from topic wise to region wise and let's see how that works. So I'm just going to go region wise since this is region wise and uh, or you have all the regions here and the data has kind of disappeared. Why? Because you have to reselect the drop down. Let's, let me just select economy and I have all the data for economy here. I think the data labels have disappeared but we're going to make them uh, reappear once again. So that's not a problem. So right click on the chart and then click on data labels and I have the data labels. So economy uh, is this and then let's say crime uh, who which region is the best in crime I think uh, Pacific is the most talked about the internet news websites and tweets for crime is the best one in the Pacific region let's say for celebrities uh, I think Latin America is the best for celeb so that's how the chart is working let's see uh, what are the components of the chart and how can we make a chart like this all right, so the first thing that uh, we have in the chart is these option buttons. So we have a region wise option button and we have a topic wise option button. And based on the selection, the chart changes. So how you get the option buttons is through the developer tab. You go in the developer tab, click on the insert drop down. In form controls, you have the option button. So you can draw the option button like this, change the text inside the option button, and then link this option button to a cell in Excel. Now. Let me just delete this. I've just, I'm just trying to show you that how do you draw one. So I'm just going to delete this. So I'm just going to right click on this option button, go to format control and let me show you the cell where I have linked this option button. So I have linked it in the data and the calc sheet and the cell name is C14. So let's just go to that cell C14. This is the cell and this is where the effect of the option button is coming along. So when I just go back to the chart sheet and when I click on the first option button uh, I have a number displayed here one and when I go back to the chart sheet and click on topic wise the option button will show number two this is the cell which is linked to the option button and this is going to show two right so this is how it is working and I have named this cell as selection now based on the option buttons uh, the drop down is also changing so when I have selected topic wise all the topics go here on the horizontal axis of the chart but all the regions come in the drop down do you see all the regions right uh, now when i select region wise all the regions come here on the horizontal axis but all the topics they go in the drop down so if you can see now the drop down has changed and is now showing all the topics so let's see uh, what is it that we need to do for the drop down to change automatically and uh, populate the data uh, depending upon the relevant selection of the option buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to the, the data and the calc sheet. And what I've done here is I've taken all the regions, copied them, control C to copy and then pasted them right here. I've taken all the topics and copied them and pasted them right here. So this is not category, this is topics, right? Then what I've done is um, I have actually named a formula. So I've gone into the name manager 
name manager and you can also access the name manager from the formulas tab so in the name manager i have made a named formula which is drop down and the formula for the drop down is that if the selection selection is nothing but this cell is one then please pick up this data if the selection is two then pick up this data as simple as that so that's done through a choose formula so i'm going to close that and i have taken this formula locked it entirely and then named it as drop down now i went back to the chart sheet and here in the drop down uh, i went to data validation and created a list feature and linked that to my drop down formula that the named formula that i've made now when you pick up region this is going to show you all the topics when you pick up topic it is going to show you all the regions so that's how it is working all right the next thing that i've done is after my uh, drop down is working depending upon which option buttons uh, i select i now have to make the chart and take a look in the chart the chart has actually got two parts uh, the first part of the chart is the horizontal axis so when you have the the region selected you have you should have all the regions here when you have the topic selected you should have all the topics here and the second part of the chart is the data inside the chart so as of now you have picked up region and your second selection is politics so it should pull up politics for all of these regions and when you have the topic selected you have all the topics here and now it should pull up whatever region that you will be selecting so it should pull up all the topics for europe so let's see if we can do that in in the sheet so i have all the regions here let's just take a look at the formula that i've used here i'm just going to press f2 and i've used the index formula uh, i've said that this is the range where you have to pick up the data from so this goes right up here and then i say that this is your uh, uh, row number so from 1 to 8 so because i have eight rows of data the next thing that which is more important is the match function the match function is actually deciding that which topic to pick up so as of now i have picked up which topic i have picked up sorry let's just go to region wise selection and let's just say celeb okay so in region i have celeb selected so let's just go to a data and calc sheet and press f2 here so what i have here is i have selected in the chart i have selected what this is nothing but celeb i just selected that and I'm trying to match celeb in this entire first row. Wherever it matches, it pulls up the entire eight rows of data, right? And it just throws up the data here. So this becomes the data for the chart. This becomes the horizontal axis and this becomes the data for the bars. Next thing is now, let's say, for example, if you don't have selection as one here, you have selection as two here. So let me just write two here. Let's just go and make the selection in the chart here. So let's just select two here. Let's just select uh, a country here. Okay, now, now when you've selected two here and when you've picked up a country here, let's say Asia, now these go these values become NA because they are not any more relevant, uh, and these values kind of show up. So let's take a look at the formula here. So what I've done is again, this is the range where you have to pick up the data from. Um, and your row number, that means which row of data do you want is dependent upon which, which area have you selected or which region have you selected. So I have picked up Asia. Now it is going to go till the second row of Asia and pick up all of these topics and then throw up right here, right? And this is the dummy for the column number. So that's pretty simple. Now that I have the data ready, uh, this or this, Depending upon which selection have I made, the data should go in the chart. I have named two formulas again. I'm just going to go back to the name manager. And I have uh, named two formulas. The first formula is chart values. That means the value that go inside the bars. And chart labels. That means these are the horizontal axis. Let's take a look at the chart labels first. Now what I'm saying is that if the selection, which is this, is 1, please pick up the regions, which is this. If the selection is 2, Please pick up what uh, the E row, the column E, which is nothing but my topics. And similarly, uh, for the chart values, I say again, if the selection is one here, if it's one here, please pick up D. D is nothing but the values for the regions. And if the selection is two, please pick up F. F is nothing but the values for the topics. And I have name these two as chart labels and chart values and I've gone back to to the chart now the chart here I have linked the chart labels and here I have linked the chart values right click on the chart go to select data option and here 
you can see that all the labels are linked and here if I click on edit you can see that all the chart values are linked all right so that's how the chart is working all right two more things here uh, the first is that we can also actually format the chart a little better so we can actually match the color of the bar and the text on top of it in the same color the second thing that we can do is we can also sort the chart so as of now the data is not sorted so although it's fairly okay to understand that economy is the first largest value and syllab is the second largest value but as the data increases it's going to be a little hard to find out the third largest or the fourth largest value you know kind of hard to rank them so sorting is almost always going to have a great impact on your chart when your data is actually in the nominal scale well i also don't want to say that this is the best chart around but it's certainly a lot easier to you know read in as comparison to what the chart that we saw earlier please let me know your views on this by commenting in the blog or uh, on the youtube channel and if you had a different chart in mind which is not similar to this uh, please draw a picture of that chart on a piece of paper click a photo and then put it as a comment on the blog and let me see that if i can make the chart that you had in mind in excel or not well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned to Goodly and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.